oh. shoulder area. They're swerving right against uh, trucks here. He is doing whatever he can to evade uh, the California Highway Patrol line, and he does not have an easy ride of it at all for uh, a good mile or two on this stretch of the southbound side of the five, near the 10, the five and dime, as we call it. There's a CHP helicopter uh, overhead as well, right up against the right shoulder. He's going to hit some look sand out, barrels off-roading here. Off-roading here. This is amazing here. And look at the, uh, there, that's a bit of a steep embankment. You can see that he's uh, he's swerving a little bit. He really has nowhere There's to go. Nowhere There's nowhere to go at this here. point. This is where it gets dangerous. He has nowhere to go. Oh, oh into the no. K wall. And it looks like that was the uh, dr running across running across lanes there. And there is a couple of airships overhead. So they're going to track this guy. We'll tilt down, tilt the camera down, down, down push in. Bit, yes. Tilt up, tilt up, tilt up. We and we'll we push into the uh, a lot of eucalyptus. Yeah, that's it. Just one suspect. Nobody else said. Uh, this is the box truck. He busted through that K wall, that center divider wall, running through this green area. Now in a residential area. Here he is. And what we're doing, what we will do as well, is we will try to uh, give information to uh, law enforcement agents uh, to track this guy so that they can find him. Because there's no way that those units behind him were going to be able to get him. He's slowing down, out of breath, looking back. But again, there's a county airship, an LA County Sheriff's helicopter above. Hiding out behind uh, the SUV here. We're going to try to give uh, us a media airborne. We'll try to give information. All I was right. just trying to be cool. Throws the hat away. Uh, whether or not he's, you know, he's armed at this point, it doesn't look like he's been fidgeting at all with his pockets. Rick, does uh, it look like a, he's a trying? Here. Does it look like he's just trying to be a bystander sitting on the side? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's, he's cool. He's trying to be cool. Uh, no, nope. it looks like there may be officers coming back. Looks like his hands are up. There could be some officers because it looked like he's making uh, a gesture here, unless he's just, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, we'll see. It, it appeared well, that he was. followed him directly into the tree clump, and they're right behind him there. Okay, they're yeah, right behind they, they, him. So he's, he's in their command right now, do you think? Well, widen out just a bit. Let's widen the camera out. We'll see if we see any activity uh, with uh, officers. At this point, we don't on the ground. No, there's no there's no one uh, that approaching the area, but the officers follow him directly into that clump, and he's probably getting commands from the at least voice commands. Mm-hmm. All right, he's right and there. there he is. Second hands up. His hand. We're going to try to position. Yes, hands are up. We'll, we'll try to position our helicopter so we get you guys a better shot around the uh, this SUV. And here we go. There he goes. There's uh, the first uh, CHP officer, and it looks like uh, that's a, a taser gun, possibly. Jim, is that uh, a taser? His hands are out. Uh, it, it's difficult to tell. Uh, it, 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 it does appear to be it's yellow, so it does look like he's using less lethal right now. And again, we didn't see the, uh, the suspect with any any type of weapon. And they've got plenty of officers there, so that would be an option. Yeah, and he's for him. doing exactly what he's yeah, he's doing exactly what he's told. As soon as we saw him move his arms, obviously he was listening in uh, to some voice instructions from the officers. Looks like he's being taken into custody. 